Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. As you can tell, I'm not in my regular studio. I am, well, I'm actually in Guatemala right now. We just finished up a week of ministry in uh, Rio Dulce, Guatemala. Um, but I decided to record some episodes. Well, I'm in Guatemala City right now. Um, uh, not in my studio, but in a hotel. Uh, I was going to record some actually at uh, our ranch where we were staying and uh, yesterday it was a funny thing I was uh, sitting down and I was way out um, far away from it's an orphanage and I was far away uh, um, out in like in a cow field almost and I was sitting there and I was studying and, and getting ready to record and um, all of a sudden one of the orphan uh, kids comes walking up uh, to me and, and sits down beside me and uh, we start chatting a little bit and I was like well I guess I'm not recording the episode uh, today uh, so anyway uh, we're just finishing up uh, the ministry here and uh, we're getting ready to fly back out of Guatemala City tomorrow so I thought I'd record an episode here actually there'll be I'm covering all of chapter 14 in four um, episodes here this first one it's called a heart after God and a heart for his people you're going to see here what I'm going to read today. There's four characters. There is uh, Moses and Aaron and Joshua and Caleb. All four of those guys have a heart after God. And when the people um, go against God, uh, they are uh, they're upset. OK, and they have You can see they have that heart after God, but then they also have a heart for people. There's a difference. There's people that have just a heart for God. But they don't care about the people um, and so or they care about the people but don't care about God these guys have have it all and so it they're a great example uh, for us to learn from so let's read here today this is taken from numbers uh, chapter 14 and I'm going to read verses 1 through 12 all right it says this um, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation because that's what I have with me here um, for the next four episodes it says the whole community began weeping aloud and they cried all night. Oh, oh my God, give, give me a break. They're crying all, they're weeping aloud and crying all night. Crying all night, getting a little carried away here. And this is as a result of the 12 spies coming back and then the 10 spies, we had talked about this in the past episodes, how the 10 spies gave this exaggerated report that God couldn't possibly uh, help them. And so these guys are thinking, oh, well, no, we're doomed. And they're crying all night and weeping aloud. Verse 2, their voices rose in a great chorus of protest against Moses and Aaron. If only we died in Egypt or even here in the wilderness, they complained. Why is the Lord taking us into the country only to have us die in battle? Our wives and our little ones will be carried off as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to return to Egypt? Then they plotted among themselves, let us choose a new leader and go back to Egypt. They wanted so much to get rid of Moses and Aaron that they plotted to kill him. Okay, boy. Then Moses and Aaron fell face down on the ground before the whole community of Israel. Get this, they fell face down uh, against the, uh, you know, before the whole community of Israel. They were that humble to, to do that. Two of the four men who had explored the land, Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephnua, tore their clothing. When It's a, t it's a sign of extreme grief when you tear your clothing like that. You're making a point, okay? If I, all of a sudden, during this episode, tear my clothing, you're going to be like, uh, what's wrong with that guy? And, well, that's what they were doing, was uh, showing their, their great grief over what has happened here. They said to all the people, The land we traveled through and explored is a wonderful land. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into the land and give it to us. It is, a, it is rich land flowing with milk and honey. Do not rebel against the Lord and don't be afraid of the people of the land. They are only helpless prey to us. They have no protection. But the Lord is with us. Don't be afraid of them. All right. And I'm going to stop there. Um, because, yeah, we're stopping uh, there with that uh, verse. But it's, I'm sorry, 
let me no let me keep reading there's actually a few more verses but the whole community began to talk about stoning joshua and caleb then the glorious presence of the lord appeared to all the israelites at the tabernacle and the lord said to moses how long will these people treat me with contempt will they never believe me even after all the miraculous signs i've done among them i will disown them and destroy them with a plague then i will make you into a great greater and mightier than they are okay i wanted to go back uh to what it, it says in, in verse uh five there um, then moses and aaron fell face down onto the ground then later on you're you're seeing where K joshua and caleb um, also uh, then tore their clothing in in grief the reason they did this is because they were torn up about um, what what was happening with the relationship with God okay so they had it they all four of these guys had a deep uh, love for the Lord and it shows here in what they in their actions but then I want you to also see they had a, a deep uh, love for the people too and cared for the people and so they did this if if they didn't care for the people they wouldn't be ripping their clothes or anything they'd be they'd be upset but they also cared for the people too and so this is a great example for us that uh, all of us whether you're in ministry or just a regular um, uh, average christian that we need to have a heart heart for god uh, first of all and then we need to have that heart for people okay um, and so it's it's you know it's easy to condemn people uh, but it's another thing to love people and to show them the love of Jesus. And so uh, that's that's the big thing here today. Have that heart um, after God, but then also have that heart uh, for people also. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey looking at the book of Numbers and, and going through Numbers chapter 14 here. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.